My name is Scott Rastegar. Today we're going to be reviewing the Saga 409. It just so happens this Saga 409 is listed by me at Atomic Tuna, so it's for sale, and the sale price is $199,000. We're in the cockpit here. We've got dual steering system. Uh, this boat is outfitted with very nice equipment for racing or cruising. Um, the beauty of the cockpit here is that uh, it's a big cockpit, big huge lazarettes, and I can show you. This is, this is, this is the main lazarette. It is gigantic. You could put all kinds of things uh, in down there. And each lazarette is designed for something particular. Uh, the lazarette on this side is designed to hold a, uh, a life raft and it's separated from the other lazarette. The big lazarette goes all the way across to the aft part of the boat here in this lazarette. And this hat lazarette is where the steering quadrant is and uh, again a lot of room down here. <clears throat> Some of the beautiful features about this boat we have we have a backstay that's hydraulically you can compress the backstay to give it some tension and uh, get the mass to rake back if you're racing if you come back here we've got a, a Garmin uh, multifunction um, GPS chart plotter and etc the uh, the starting controls are right here. The boat has a Yanmar 57 horsepower engine. And then just ahead of the, the starting panel are some switches for controlling the lights and things on the, on the mast and boom. <clears throat> so that pretty much takes it. The, the autopilot is here also to, to port. This is the, the main uh, winch. It's electrically operated. It operates both the main and for lifting the, uh, the main halyard. And this boat is designed so you can operate the boat single-handedly in the cockpit. You don't have to go forward. It's very easy to sail. She, she sails really fast. There's all the clutches up here. One set here, one set on the on port side that operates all uh, that you can lock all the lines with. Uh, before we go down below, we're going to walk around the deck and we're going to review all the features of this boat. One of the nice things is it's got this very nice dodger. It's got a hard, uh, a, 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 it's a radar tower or a, a, a uh, radar tower. And on top of it, we have the, the traveler. If you come up here, so up here, the traveler rests on top of this radar tower, which is essentially the the whole structure of the the dodger that's up here. Now, one of the very nice features on this boat, it has, if you look at look at the boom, is it has a it has a lazy jack system, and it has a stack uh, stack pack. So the way you'd, you'd raise the mainsail is just unzip the top of the, the sack, hoist up your main, and then when you come back, all you do is let go of the main halyard, and the sail will drop into this sack here and perfectly stack itself. And all you got to do is zip it back up to put it away. Moving forward, one of the other nice features is uh, it's got these cleats here. Uh, this cleat here, I can show you how it works. Uh, it disappears. It, it, it folds down into the hull. So it's up when you're using it, and then you just push it down, and it's level with the deck. It's a great feature because it, once you're underway, you don't have any lines attached to it. It keeps you from stubbing your toe on it. And all you got to do is pull it, bring it back up, and you're ready to go. 
All right, moving forward. Uh, the boat has a, a boom bang with multiple blocks in it, so you can put a lot of tension in the boom. Oh, by the way, we're at the San Francisco Yacht Club here, and this is in Belvedere. We're just north of the San Francisco city of San Francisco. Beautiful day, beautiful harbor. Sorry? Oh, shoot. It's okay. Um, there's a couple of uh, solar powered vents here that vent the head and the forward part of the boat. Uh, going forward. We have, <clears throat> we have the windlass for the anchor up and down button. And then also right here, we have a wash down. So you can turn on fresh water or salt water wash down and you can hose off the, the chain and anchor as it comes up. We got a roller reefing jib. And also this is set up with, so you can put a uh, code zero um, it's like a spinnaker triangular sail without the need of um, any uh, any boom to hold it out. A code zero attached to the front. Now what's unique about this boat is this boat was was laid up in 2007 but it was not complete on 2009 and the current owner bought it when it was not complete so he had it completed and when he completed it, he had some very nice features. For example, up forward here, this bow pulpit had, had huge stainless steel piping and piping around where the anchor is. And it was like over 500 pounds. So when he had it finished, he put smaller railings and he, he put this, uh, <coughs> this bow sprit here that's much, much lighter than the original design on the boat. Uh, this is a couple hundred pounds instead of over 500 pounds and it's and it's made with uh, carbon fiber and fiberglass. And then if you look up on the mast, if you look up on the mast it's a triple spreader mast so it's it's very strong and the build on this boat the hull is built with a balsa core with uh, carbon fiber and fiberglass. So it's a very strong hull and yet it's, uh, it's light. So we'll move further back. Again, if you want to look at the boom bang and where the traveler is. And that pretty much covers everything here on, on deck. Now we'll go down below and, and finish the tour down below. All right, we're on Black Swan and we're gonna go down below in the cabin and get an overview of what the cabin is like. So first off, there's a really nice feature when you take the covers off here. Uh, oftentimes on boats, you don't know what to do with them. You, you stash them on the, on the seat. Uh, down below somewhere but this particular boat has a rack it has a rack down below where you put them in and they're out of the way they're safe and uh, they're really handy so as you come down here I'll show you where they go this is a beautiful beautiful cabin one thing you'll you'll notice the wood the wood is American cherry and the cabinet tree is in very well made. So if you come here, you'll notice there's a rack right here. This is where the where the hatch covers go, and it's and it's a it's a great thing to have. Uh, one goes behind the other, and uh, let's see. There we go. There, there's one, and then the next one goes in front of it here. Overview of the aft cabin. This is a. Uh, full queen size bed here quarter aft cabin uh, we've got a we've got an opening here for checking the oil on the engine the Yanmar engine if you you can see it's a beautifully clean engine 
here, the headroom. This is almost seven feet headroom here. There's, and because of this spacious cabin, it makes the boat look huge. And it's only a 40 foot boat, but it's, uh, again, it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, we got the sink, the propane stove, and one of the beautiful things is it's got this huge refrigerator, built-in refrigerator. Uh, big capacity, I would say maybe that's uh, three, maybe four cubic uh, feet. And then it's got right here, there's a freezer. And it's on the counter and it goes down deep. Microwave. storage here the controls for the refrigerator and freezer are right are right here and then to to access the engine you'd remove these stairs here and the engine is right behind here a very easy access to it uh, again the floors beautiful uh, uh, beautiful flooring I forget what it's called um, forward here we got seating on either side we've got this table here which is really nice it actually what, what it, it folds up and tucks away like this you take the leg off it tucks away the refrigerator it's all open here or if it comes or it comes down like this it creates it a, a, a table uh, it's got a it's got a TV and a nice thing is right here this unit it's a stereo CD and DVD player so you can you can put a DVD in here and it will show on your screen and likewise if we turn around and look at the the control power panels on the uh, <clears throat> chart table if you're looking at your GPS charts on here you can actually transfer onto the TV so you can see it on the TV too as you can see very very clean switches uh, accessible and this is the chart table plenty of room for charts although nowadays you don't use chart tables you use uh, your GPS <coughs> monitors uh, no other features of this boat is these huge portholes or windows and it brings in a lot of light it's very light and airy in here going forward we've got more cabinetry this particular cabinetry is a liquor cabinet lots of booze <laughs> hanging closet oh no this is this is drawers again lots of room And then one of the beautiful features is it's a small boat, so it doesn't have a big head, but they've really utilized the space really well. So this is a head where, that has access from both sides, both from the forward cabin and, and the main cabin. And one of the nice features about this, even though the space is small, like a 40 boat would be, it's got this acrylic door that makes it into all the enclosed shower. And it's got lots of mirrors, lots of light, very open. And it's it's got a boom here. I mean a mass here, as you can see, it's a it's a keel it's a keel stepped mast, which is really good. And this boat has a very special feature, which I'll show you at the very end. But let's let's go ahead and look at the forward cabin, V cabin. And the owner of the boat said, this is a really comfortable cabin. It's big enough. It doesn't seem big, but it's big enough where two adults can easily sleep here. <clears throat> it's got right here, it's got a little makeup table. Anyway, this is a little makeup table. Mirror and a, and a seat that comes out. Again, it's got space for... All kinds of things. A hanging closet here, big hanging closet here. 
that. And then this is a nice feature. It's got a this this hatch above the forward cabin. There's a there's a cover here where you can block the sun out, the light out. That's a, that's a nice feature, built-in feature. So one of the special things about this boat is this boat was actually laid up in 2007 and the current owner, which is the original owner, uh, bought this boat, the hull. Uh, it was almost completed, but the interior was not completed totally. So it was laid up in 2007, but the boat was not completed until 2009, and that's when it was commissioned. Now what's very special about this boat, let's move back to the salon, I'll show you something. So this Saga 409 was was constructed at the Pacific Seacraft up in Washington, and they did a beautiful job. But and there were there were 15 of these boats built, with the exception of number 13 was not built. So this is number 14, one to the last one that was built. And when they built this boat, it was a new production line, so they they didn't they hadn't worked all the flaws out in it. And one of the problems this boat had is that uh, the uh, the keel was not was not adequately reinforced to the hull, so there was a weakness. And so the current owner, when it, the boat was completed, spent over one hundred and fifty thousand dollars, and they took all this floorboard out. And put in these horizontal stringers here and they're attached to the keel and to the hull and that those stringers go from here all the way forward to the forward head so now this boat is totally bulletproof and what's very special is of all the 15 hulls that were built uh, this only this one and one other one on the east coast had this done to it so all the other boats in between have not had this done to it. So eventually they'll have to do it. So like I said, the owner spent $150,000 doing this reinforcement. And that's what makes this boat very, very special. I hope you enjoyed this tour. And if you have any questions, please call us at Atomic Tuna. My name is Scott Rastigar. And this is the Saga 409 Black Swan. Thank you very much.